Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Catch the Anointing Center, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome to today's broadcast. Kakra has been sharing an illuminating series titled The Principles of Money, sharing lessons on how God expects us to handle money based on the parable of the talent in Matthew 25. Yesterday, he explained that God expects us to increase the money he gives to us. Today, he continues to explain why. Let's join in. In 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 9, as it's written, he has dispersed abroad. He has given to the poor. His righteousness remains forever. So here, a few examples of the good things are given. He has dispersed abroad. In other words, oh, he has helped people with the money. He says his righteousness remains forever because people become more evil when money comes into their hands. It's amazing. You can have two people who are married. When they are poor, they are in love. When they become, they, they become rich, their marriage scatters. So Paul said, the increase is given so that even your righteousness will go up. Verse 10. Now he that ministers seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food and multiply your seed soon and increase, you see that increase, the fruits of your righteousness. My brother, you and I were supposed to be very loaded why? So that we will bear more fruits of righteousness. <clears throat> Being enriched in everything to all bountifulness, which causes through us thanksgiving to God. And one of the good things you must do is to give thanks. But as you have had more money, now you have become more dignified. God wants to see more praise and worship, more dancing, more shouting, more hallelujahs, more thank. That is why he's increasing the thing, so that your thanksgiving will increase. May God help us to express our thanksgiving. Stewards. He wants to increase the money. Verse 12, for the administration of the service, not only supplier the wants of the saints. That the word administration, it means the ministration. When you say ministration, a man just goes to oil and prayer. He said, no. It's also abundant by many thanksgiving to God. He mentions thanksgiving again. So, God wants us to increase our finances. Just for increase sake. Good works. We are not told details as to what good works the two other guys did. But when the Lord came, he said, you guys, the money I gave to you, the business you did, when the money increased, you used it for good things. But this guy, his money was clean. Not unclean. But it was not holy. That was his problem. So the second thing we learn about this parable is that God wants our money to do what? To increase. Why? so that our good works will increase. That's why he wants it. How can you have more money, but now you don't pay your children's school fees? You don't respect your wife, you don't respect your husband. It is now that even you don't even talk. How can you have more money, but you don't even do anything in the church? No witnessing, no offering, no helping, no bringing any souls. How? You are forgotten why there's an increase. One day, the master will come. And when he comes, verse 19 says, Matthew 25, verse 19, he reckoneth with them. So come and give accounts. Every little 
little bit of money that you made. Come and give me the accounts. I want to see whether it was consistent or not. And when we are consistent, that's when even God releases further blessings. So as I close, number one, let's remember that we are what? Stewards of God's money. Number two, let's remember we are supposed to increase this money. Ask your neighbor, are you getting broke or you're getting richer? Ask your neighbor. This money is supposed to be increased. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that as stewards of God's money, he expects the money to increase so that we can increase our good works and express our thanksgiving. Join us again on Monday for another exciting session with Kaka David. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. Married and blessed with a child. Dear Kakra, I wrote to you to pray for me for God to give me a husband. You replied that you had prayed for me. To the glory of God, I am married to a God-fearing man who is far better than my ex-boyfriend. I also thank God I am now blessed with a beautiful baby boy. God bless you. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 790 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you. Are you in need of money? Is there something you want to buy or someone you have to pay? Then this revolutionary book, Cryptocurrency by Kakrabaden, is what you are looking for. It will unlock sources of money you have but don't know you possess. You are just a book away from turning your finances around. Order the book, Cryptocurrency, How to Profit from Free Labor, through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Cryptocurrency in the comment section or message window.